Hey everyone, it's Alice Bazaar here. First off, apologies. I know I keep saying I'm going to do videos, but I just... Life gets in the way, weddings, illness, work. I just, I just haven't had time, so I'm sorry about that. And secondly, I went to IMATS this weekend. I only went on the Saturday, and for the last few years I've actually gone on a Sunday, so I wasn't quite prepared for how how much actually how much busier it is on a Saturday so um, I might not do that again especially as there are, seems to be more horror demos on the Sunday but luckily I got to see some fantastic seminars such as Beware the Moon which featured a panel from American Wealth in London um, the Game of Thrones um, Alex Box um, I got to catch catch quite a few little bits but I also bought a lot of products too uh, it was like beauty stuff, industry products, um, so I just thought I'd share that with you now. So here we go. I'm not usually a fan of glitter, but um, I do enjoy lit, and so I got one of the little packs with the setting um, from, from the mixing liquid and with the um, glitter. This one's Tinsel Town. I also got um, one of their greens, which is one of their finer greens, called Mary Jane. So it's quite really nice their stuff it doesn't clump like other mixing liquids do and i also got from jt makeup a body glitter because i've always wanted nice red glitter ben nice super white powder i own his neutral set but i thought i want some white because of how much clown makeup and sort of undead makeup i do i got Bloody Mary's black grease paint. Um, I apologise as well if my light keeps changing. There's a um, thunderstorm outside, so it keeps going from bright to dark to raining and things. So, um, I also went to the um, PS Composite stands, which um, they do a lot more product things. So I bought uh, like, I mean special effects products. So I bought some Sculpt Gel, which is flesh tone. Also from PS Composites, we got a nice few um, rubber kidneys. Um, these ones are a bit rough, but um, these are a godsend. Yeah, wonderful. Not got a bit of makeup on already. And the serrated ones, which are fantastic as well. And I always like to get some sickle sponges. Skipper! And a nice pack of Alginet. And I bought some stipple sponge stipple brushes because they are really good for silicon painting and we also got our bigger things so we got our pro gel 10 silicon for prosthetics and so that's part B we got part A we also got a softener for it um, again for more like for softer prosthetics for mobility and we got some Transil 20 for molds. Yeah. I also went to the Cryolin stand and bought a few um, goodies and bits. Um, I got some Clodian, which um, is something that people use to make um, scars and stuff, which tightens your skin. I used to have this ages ago, but it broke in my bag and um, yeah, made a horrible mess and got the remover too. Um, but I also bought that, um, ages ago I bought that eye blood, which can look fantastic if it's used right. But I realised this time they have different colours, so I bought, if I sh can show you, I bought blue. Uh, for a bit more fun. And I bought black. So that drips into the eye when you're not wearing contact lenses because we've done that before and it stains. I also did a quick trip to the Stargazer stand because why not and I bought some of their nail polishes. Black and UV. Um, originally to IMATS I was going to be wearing like, because um, a couple of years I've been wearing like these sort of um, breast um, armour type things that I've made but um, usually made a point of saying that I won't be bumping into those people because I haven't been on a Saturday for a long time so it was a lot busier than on a Sunday so I instead wore this little piece if you like 
It's my um, Essence of Halloween mask, which you can buy from my Etsy shop. I finally got in the NYX stands because I don't, I haven't actually owned anything from them. But every single year, there's this massive queue, and I just never bother going because the line's massive. But I walked past at one point this year, and there was absolutely no line. Hopped in, and I bought myself some blue matte cream which is actually really, once it's set it's really nice I'm wearing it here it's a bit mixed in but you get the gist of it I bought a, um, a jumbo eye pencil this one's a dark brown Whoop. Um, and I never use eye pencils for the eyes I always use them for my lips I also went for some eyelashes which I don't often get but these so it was like three for tenner so I got these these and these they have um, slight glitter on the bottom after the Beware the Moon um, seminar um, I got approached by a man who gave me a little pack of makeup goodies and he introduced himself but it was only afterwards when I, it kind of struck me properly that it was Dana Nye who is um, if anybody in the makeup industry knows um, the makeup company Ben Nye, who's a very famous theatrical makeup company, there uh, Ben Nye did quite a lot of the um, quite a lot of older films, sort of Marilyn Monroe type era. So he was the one who would do makeup in those sort of films. And Dana Nye is his son. So I'll just quickly show you the goodies I got in the bag. Retail wise, these are actually um, they're worth quite a lot. So I got a. Um, a Ben Nye eye, um, sort of like a gel eyeliner, basically. A Media Pro um, finishing powder, which is actually that, that colour will be very, very, very useful. Um, a Ben Nye corrector palette. Um, certain colours will correct certain skin tones that are um, like dark circles and spots and things, and that's really good. Um, stipple sponges. Um, I got a luxury powder, which is a um, Media Pro. Um, I got another luxury powder. I got um, his precision eyeliner. Ah. Annoyingly, it's a um, it's blue, but it's really good. So I can't. I really wish this was black. <laughs> I got um, the pop art, pop art lipstick colour. See how pink that is. See if you can see. This was probably the thing I was most surprised about getting was these little guys. They are all um, what I, from what I gather, they are pre-formulated um, airbrush makeups because they're aqua formula. So you've got like shimmers. See. Pickles? And uh, I think these are just like normal makeups. That's an almond one. S FX. See, this one's definitely one that would be for veins. See. So yeah, the, it's a bit of a range of stuff. So I was very, very lucky to get these goodies from him. Man. Every year I buy too many brushes, so I only bought one, and it is the tiniest. Thinnest, if you can see, uh, precision brush, absolutely tiny, and I always want tiny ones, so, yay. I thought I'd buy these because they were quite cheap, and I've never, never, never used um, texture pads before, never used them before, but um, here's, here they are, they're, they're the um, non-texture size, hold on, see, and the various skin textures, a large skin textures, normal ones, uh, just various different things. Um, but I've had a few um, commissions recently that have been quite large, like requests and things. So uh, very good for last minute things. And there we go. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope um, that I haven't bugged anyone about the whole promising to do videos thing and then never doing it. Um, but I do have a couple of weeks where I have part-time weeks 
So um, if you have any requests or any questions, then do send me some comments or just send me an email on Facebook or whatever and I will try and get those requests in quite well. So um, yeah, um, that's my IMATS haul. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.